right, everybody, welcome to November 8th. How are you? Let's see where we go this morning. Um, this week we are doing a advanced North Node class. So if you're interested in figuring out your path, why you're here on this planet, that's a good place to start. I'm also doing a numerology class, another tool that you can, I kind of like to uh, use all these tools to kind of triangulate with each other. So you can use your astrology and your numerology and tarot and all of these different tools to remember who you are. That is my purpose here, or, or I'm one of the people in your life who are trying to help that happen. Yay! <laughs> all right, Seven of Pentacles. I'll pull some, um, some Oracle cards in a second. Seven of Pentacles underneath, Ten of Wands, Four of Swords, Queen of Cups. Give yourself a break here, okay? Lovers, Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, Fool, Six of Wands. Beautiful energy here. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So some of you, this is a reading for somebody who feels like love has let them down, passed them by, feeling like there might be nobody, okay? Some of you may be feeling like there's nobody and, you know, you keep going through these problems or these situations and is it ever going to be good? You know what I mean? Like that can be, that's definitely who this reading is for. Like, is it ever going to even out? Is it ever going to be good? When am I going to reap the benefit of all this spiritual work I've been doing? <laughs> So here's the thing. You have put a lot of time and effort into things. There's no question about that. Yes, has it been a wandering path? You better believe it. All right. So you're almost being conferred with some blessings because of how wandering your path has been, because of how much nonsense you've had to put up with. Um, I feel like you're finally getting to the place where it's like a humble, it's like almost like humbled, like you're seeing all of the, all of the things you've been through, really doing the work, releasing and letting go of patterns and habits and difficulties, really seeing through the lens of your heart. Okay, that's beautiful, through the lens of your heart. Now, there is a love partner coming in who also has you might be talking to this person. I see Gemini. I only see Gemini right now. You might be talking to this person and it could be like a conversation where you guys talk about, you could be friends, right? Like you're talking about your old boyfriends or your old loves or his old girlfriends and stuff like that. And you're having these conversations and you're really seeing like, okay, I'm just going to work on healing these patterns. I don't want anything coming in to disturb another relationship. And you're not even really aware that this person who's, who's in your life, who's been in your life for a while is the love partner. You're not really even aware of that. So this is, this is somebody who has been in your life for a while. And I feel like you just haven't seen it. You're just not aware. Now, you could be that person for somebody else who's going through this, okay? So feel free to swap around the energies, whichever way it works for you. I do feel like very soon, these patterns are going to become aware, available to you in terms of a different way of looking at things. Watch that for whoever, if this is resonating for you, watch that for whoever I did on Sunday, uh, because there's definitely some, some echoing here. I, I feel like this love partner that is here is also somebody who's kind of like tied up. And I, what I mean by that is like, they don't really see the path out yet, but the path out is through feelings. You see how the water here, like the feet aren't bound. You could walk along the water and the water really symbolizes feelings and symbolizes heart, symbolizes your heart chakra, symbolizes opening up and doing the healing work so that you can share it with somebody else. You might be manifesting in people who are hurt, who isn't, right? And you both have some hurt 
to heal in the other one. And I don't mean like, I'm going to heal you. I don't mean that. I mean that just by being in your loving self, that has a healing um, Im Im impact. <laughs> Thank you. A healing impact on this other person and you. The purpose of this relationship is not really to, like you might be sitting, you might be talking to each other about, you know, these past girlfriends, past boyfriends, blah, 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 and everything like that. And you're talking about it through your old lens and, you know, you're not coming up with anything new. Uh, but these are just like rehashing old stuff. I feel like the things you say have clarity for them and the things they say have clarity for you. So there's some wisdom in these conversations, even though it's not really what the conversations are about. We're just, you know, we're just sitting around watching football and we're talking about things. We're going to the movies. We're, you know, working together on a project and you just happen to share these things. And it's very healing. It's a very healing connection for the two of you. I do feel like this is going to turn into something. This is going to turn into something that could go the distance. And it's because it sets you both free. All right. You might feel like you can't move on in life because of a previous love, a previous relationship that's still in your heart. Like you don't want to move on or, or something like that. This other person feels like they're not good enough for relationship or they're not worthy of it because of something they did in the past, right? Whatever's holding you back from really being in relationship, I feel like the two of you kind of untangle the knot for each other. All right, let me clarify a few things here. What's the 10 of wands? Uh-oh, there's a dog outside. 10 of wands, queen of pentacles, hermit, Three of Swords. One more, please. Yeah, Nine of Wands again. Okay, so I don't think you saw the, I don't think you will see the wisdom in the other relationships that you've had. You won't see that lesson until this person. This person is going to shine the light on those past lessons for you. You'll see them differently. You're going to see them differently than you've saw them than you saw them before. You're going to see them as patterns. You're going to see them as um, things to learn from. Okay. And you're also going to see, it's just going to be so much more clear to you. Why is the eight of swords here for this other person? Temperance, eight of cups, two of swords. Yeah. Same thing. They're, they are able to overcome a lot because of your conversation. I feel like they're on a, on a path. You're on a spiritual path. You have hermit. They have this eight of cups. I feel like they are a, um, a traveling companion on your, on your, uh, spiritual path here. They are overcoming things. Archangel Michael bringing you together with the temperance card here. They're bringing you together. The universe is bringing you together to heal and overcome so you can keep going. There's a certain amount of stuckness here. The eight of swords and the 10 of wands, a certain amount of stuckness. Okay. And it's like, you could very well believe that. So let's just, let me just use an example. Okay. So let's say you had a relationship that went really badly and you feel you did the thing that made the, that hurt it, that broke it, that ruined it. Um, you did it. Okay. The other person may have a similar kind of feeling. I think through the conversations, because this person may have been, okay, now stay with me. This is me kind of a little bit of new wave here. This person experienced what you did to your partner in another relationship on the other side of it. They experienced the other side of it. So if you basic, if you did something, if you had a very codependent nature in relationship, they had a partner who was super codependent and the things that they're talking about with you, open up your world, open up your ability to see that you're holding on to things 
And like maybe you're telling yourself, I did it, it's my fault, you know, I'm the one to blame and you're punishing yourself and punishing yourself. This person shows you that it wasn't really about that. It wasn't really you. You weren't, you weren't solely to blame. All right, this person is kind of showing you that. And vice versa, this person could have a mindset that you had dealt with in another partner and you're able to say to them, wait a second, because you're like an independent third party. This is one of those times when a third party is really the purpose because they are shining light, a shining light for you on uh, your own blocks, your own blocks to love, your own, you know, like punishing yourself. Um, if you made a mistake with a partner a long time ago, you've never forgiven yourself for that. You've never let it go. You've never realized that it's, it's time to really truly heal that. And part of healing that is like, it's okay. You're human. You make mistakes. You know, did you seek out to hurt somebody? No. Then why are you punishing yourself for years? Okay. All right. So I'm going to continue on. This person could be a Gemini, a Leo, a Virgo, a Sag. Gemini, a Leo, a Virgo, or a Sag. Okay. I will go deeper into this reading. I like this. This is definitely a mirroring feeling to me that you're healing the other person just by talking about your experience and they're healing you. That's kind of nice. Mutual, mutual healing. All right. So I'm going to continue on with this reading. If you want to continue on with me, the link is below. If you're part of our Pathfinder group and all the dogs are leaving the room. <laughs> if you're part of the Pathfinder group, the rest of this reading starts right now. Thank you. 